Where are we going tonight, Nicole? <laughs> we are invited by a big uh, Swiss boat. They sailing around with teenager and now they go to the Caribbean. Nicole is knowing Ronnie from Switzerland. He is living and working on the sailing vessel Salomon. He invited us on board. The Swiss tall ship was under service of a Swiss association for teenagers with a problematic childhood. Basically, they got a large time out away from their old structure, bad habits and the people they shouldn't be around. And they get an opportunity to work on themselves and to try to change. Often, it was their last chance not to go to prison. Nowadays, these institutions have a hard stand. Because of insufficient support from the government, they had to stop their work. The boat is now on the way to the Caribbean and is for sale. And then I had the honor to meet a very special crew member. I got a new friend. Um Hello. Blah, 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 blah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Am I real? Am I now a real pirate? Or, um... I thought so. Let's start again. I always have to... F You're too close to me. What's your name, little bird? Okay. And... What's your job here on board? Hmm? We got along well, but we didn't have such a long conversation. Björn invited us on board on his Dragonfly 920. A couple of days later, when there was quite some wind, I had the chance to go sailing with him. Björn invited me uh, on a real dragonfly, not an old one. I'm on board on a dragonfly 920. This boat has built in 1998. So it's quite a bit newer than our boat. What was really impressing me when Björn was showing me how he is able to make the trimaran self-steering just with an elastic cord. I'm on board on the Dragonfly trimaran of Björn. Björn, how did you came up with the crazy idea to buy a trimaran? Yes, I'm sailing uh, now in my fourth year. And I started sailing with a boat 6 meter 50 long on a lake nearby my hometown. And I started to sail regatta with some other people with these small boats. And then I decided I want to have something bigger. So when I was looking first for monohulls, 
but they weren't uh, speedy enough. So I was looking for a catamaran, a aluminium catamaran uh, 10 meters long in uh, Tenerife and I went out for a test sail and we did about uh, 10 to 11 knots on high speed and it wasn't easy for tacking with this kind of boats and it slows down uh, a lot so I decided no, it's too much room it's cozy but it's no uh, speedy enough, I need more speed <laughs> so I was thinking which kind of boat is uh, faster than a catamaran and I come out with a trimaran so I decided uh, I'm looking for a trimaran I uh, looked in the internet and found this boat here in Gran Canaria in Las Palmas and I went over here and uh, did a test sail and I was like this <laughs> <laughs> a big smile because it's, uh, it was very fast it was taking very fast and my heart said yes that's your boat <laughs> so I bought it so you already decided to, to buy it or when you did the first sale? Yes, yes. <laughs> For, uh, love in first place? Yes, love in first place. Instant love. After, after my decision, it's my boat, I was a bit uh, confused because I said, oh, if you say yes, it's your boat, then you have to sail in the Atlantic. <laughs> you know, and I am only sailing uh, four years now. I don't have any, uh, no much experience sailing and no experience with the trimaran so it's a kind of adventure for me <laughs> but I like uh, adventures <laughs> I'm living part-time here and part-time back home I'm able to work with my uh, computer here from board and uh, some telephone calls so uh, I'm a lucky guy <laughs> What's the top speed of this boat or what are you, what are your experience? Yeah, the top speed of the boat, uh, warning says, is uh, 19 knots and I have done 15.5 uh, with old sails. Okay. And now, uh, since one week, I have uh, both sails new. So, uh, if the weather conditions is right, I think I can reach this 19 wow. and I'm looking forward. <laughs> so, you will have the fastest boat here. Expect the other trimaran. Uh, in the <laughs> moment, there's another trimaran in here from France, which I think, uh, if I look at this boat, he will maybe do a 35 knots or yeah. so. It's a high-speed uh, trimaran. But if he's not here, I think I will be one of the fastest boats <laughs> on these islands. Yes. Thank you for taking me uh, on your boat. Yeah, it was a pleasure. You're welcome. What comes next? Join us next week and find out why our trimaran has no mast. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.